So the Top Gun, Tom Cruise inspiration, was that in high school or were you a freshman in college? Then? No, I was still in, I was actually still in junior high at that time, um, may maybe early high school, but uh, you know, it just the whole um, culture of the Virginia Beach area, you know, it was a weird kind of culture. It was like, it was half really intense military, Navy SEAL type, type culture and then half surfer culture with the beach being right there. So, you know, there was, there was a weird mix between all of those things, but Top Gun was definitely a heavy influence for, I think, most kids my generation. And, um, and for me, I saw those fast planes and I thought, those are cool. I want to fly the fast planes. But they don't really let women fly the fast planes, at least they didn't at that time. And even if they did, my eyesight wasn't good. So I knew that was never going to happen. So I thought, well, hey, if I can't fly them, maybe I'll build them. So I thought, I'll become an aerospace engineer. And I was always really into math and science, so that seemed like a good direction to go. And so I ended up going to Virginia Tech, um, which is a good engineering school there in the state of Virginia. And they don't have you actually specialize in your first year. So I had a year to just kind of be a regular engineer. And one of my friends, who was already a couple years into the program, he said, hey, you know, being an aerospace engineer is just a division of mechanical. So just become a mechanical engineer, it's much better. And at that time, the aerospace engineering, uh, or the aerospace in industry itself was kind of having a little trouble. So I thought, okay, this sounds like a great idea. So I started mechanical. And then I realized that the things I was really good at actually were more electrical engineering. So I switched it over to electrical, and that's what I ended up graduating in. And, um, you know, it was, it was a really good choice for me for a lot of reasons. But, you know, at that time, engineering was really starting to get a lot more integrated in terms of women being in engineering. Like, for instance, the chemical engineering uh, class at that time was almost 50% women. But electrical engineering was still, like, 5% women. And it was implied that I couldn't do it. And you lay down the gauntlet, I'm gonna have to pick it up. So that was uh, extra motivation to get through the program. Pretend for a minute we're standing in front of a, a room full of high school girls. What do you say to them? You know, I see the, the influences that, you know, girls that age are getting these days. And they're not getting the message that, you know, this could be something that you could do well at, that you could, you know, that it's, it's a feminine thing to do. And, and I think a lot of people shy away from it for that reason. They're not encouraged that they are capable of doing it, even though they are. Um, and it's not something that is associated as a female, you know, career or choice. And I think that that does make a lot of women shy away from it. But there's opportunities to kind of work with girls at different ages. And I've gotten a couple of chances through different women's groups here in Dallas to talk with um, girls in high school about, you know, the opportunities in the math and sciences, and, and I hope that there's, you know, there continues to be some additional role models that come up in popular culture, uh, more so than what we've had in the past, but there are some out there, and um, I think they do a lot of good work in terms of, of helping to promote that message. Uh.